Hey guys, welcome back to GI Players Shining Resonance Refrain. I'm Player One Anthony TZ, and yes, I changed back to the outfit. Alright, so in between episodes, I needed to freaking uh, charge up the Joy Cons for a little while, so. Yeah, I kind of was just watching some YouTube videos between episodes, but hey, we're back. And also, I checked out what the other outfits looked like, and I'm, I'm just going to keep her regular outfit on, so, yeah. The, this is our escape route? Apparently, Yuma. Right. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. Okay. They've reached the top. Don't let them escape. But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. All right, negative Nancy. They would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Come on, Dragonier. Hurry it up. This is your cue. Wait, what? Oh yeah, earlier they said Elf Dragonier or something. I kind of assumed that was just me. Or Sonya. Uh, okay. Oh, her! The hour is upon us. Sonya must be in position by now. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. Alright. Oh, I get to play as her now? Yeah, she's kind of cute. I like her dress. Okay, how do you fight? What's her name again? Kirika? Halt! Identify yourself! I am a dragon Yeah, Kirika, Wellant. I got it. Perhaps you understand what that means? Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own! Damn! I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. What business does a dragon here have with us? I dig her voice. I only ask that you let me pass. Is she hissing with some of the S's? Don't be ridiculous. You think we just let you in? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my requiem, your soul will find peace. I can't tell if she's like doing a little bit of a hiss at the end of certain words. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the Rune Songs of Nature. Face me! That's kind of a badass title. Her freaking bow and arrow looks like it's a harp! Can't say I've seen that before. Alright! Let's see how you work, Kirika! Dude, that's an awesome bow. Alright, Kirika is a dragoneer who uses the Koto no Kagura. She's good at range attacks and can be and can support the party from the back line. Okay. Her break attack sends out a flurry of arrows that automatically track and attack multiple enemies. Kirika can also use the Recovery Force Heal to replenish HP. When you use Heal, a cursor will appear at the bottom of the screen, above the character's status display, allowing you to choose who to heal. Use, uh, well, I guess the uh, left or right or L to target and press A to select the party member you want to heal. Alright. You're a range girl! Get the fuck away from them! Wow, oh, that was cool! Ow, ow, ow! Well, at 
least that's giving me some distance from them. Okay, so he is to heal. Okay, so if I hold it down, okay, I guess I, uh, holding it down doesn't make it uh, do anything different. Alright. Definitely, uh, gotta get used to that. Definitely like Sonya Still style no better. Still no sign of Sonya. This is no simple delay. Has she abandoned the front gate? Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. All right. Okay, we're back with Sonya and Yuma. 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 Okay. Okay. Yuma, can you hear me? Yes. I, I can hear you. Your situation is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just get captured again. Damn. Why do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Damn, dude, you are negative! Don't you want to escape? I do, but... If it means I have to use that power, I... I can't. Alright, so he's got some major they power. Up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. Ooh. It's just one pain. of those characters. I'm used to pain. Yeah, if I can just endure it, then... Yikes. Poor bastard. There she is! That's the Astoria hey. Knight! You okay? Huh? What's happening? What's wrong? I thought I lost you for a second there. No, it's nothing. But the guards... I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you help. safe until then. Don't worry. Right. All right, let's kick some ass. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So, wait. wait. Something, Something about, about this feels... feels so, so nostalgic, nostalgic somehow. somehow. Okay. If you say so, dude. What was that? I don't know. You tell me. Yuma, watch out! Get back! Right. I like that sword. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? What are you trying to say? Get off your lazy ass and help! You are dead weight. A spectator. A useless piece upon the board of battle. I ask again, can you accept this? Damn, inner voice. You are no younger, no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. I mean, a lot you of us are watching this right now, so hey. Does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! Ooh. 
It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. Huh. Alright. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? Hmm. <sighs> Fine, dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. Ah, you got a dragon it's in you, buddy. Fight. I kind of had a feeling about it. I am Yuma, heritor of the dragon soul. Vandalhorn, dragon resonator. I release thy bonds. Let this play yeah, out. Yeah, Garrett had a better title in my opinion. All right, this sounds interesting. Damn! Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. I doubt it. Yuma? Sonia, I can fight too. All right, let's do it. I was looking forward to playing as Sonia, but all right. Yuma tutorial. Yuma uses the sword Vanzelhorn. He possesses high damage and wield radius for his attacks. His break attack at dash lunge can knock down a single enemy. Once knocked down, the enemy will be defenseless. Alright, cool. I kinda like playing as characters with big broadswords. Okay, you are really big on stabby stabby. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Link. Okay, there we go. There we go. And still, Sonya gets the freaking final blow. All right, cool. <sighs> Yuma. Sonya. What? That song? Who's singing? I have one guess. The Kool-Aid Man. Get it out. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Who's that? A badass? She's... That thing is awesome! A dragon? Oh dear god, do I have to fight that? Awesome! Uh, do I get a thing? Trishula. Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Okay, you totally made that up. Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula? Then you are the Imperial Dragonair Princess, Excella. Excella, you look so damn cool. Indeed. Of course. That dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alpine? To humble those who would stand against the Empire, Knight of Astoria. <clears throat> I dig that voice. Hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. What? Just trust me, okay? O okay. So, we're not on the same team? <laughs> Trishula, I leave them to I you. I guess not! Have at them. Of course. Like having your tongue hanging out, don't you, Trishula? Trishula, wait. What? 
Huh? What? What? Oh, God. Finally, she's here. Oh wait, do I have to fight that thing as a range? I don't want to fight that thing as a range character. That song. <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. Impressive indeed. To block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika. A little late, don't you think? Dude, I love this! Kirika Toa Alma, Dragoneer of Wellant, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. Still a badass title! I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding it. Her name is Kirika? Yep. <sighs> Oh, what now, Yuma? It's happening again. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. When you go, huh? You're not fine! My, the original Diva Magica in the flesh. An intriguing development. Then let me see your power firsthand. Trishula, take them! <laughs> It's like, I don't Can know how to do commentary this? with this because I want to watch it, but I don't want to talk over it. I cannot say, but we must try. We must save the Shining Dragon no matter the cost. Hey, Shining. Ah, oh, nice! Okay, let's break in. I mean, I think I've been doing breaking already, so. Continuously hitting an enemy will break attacks or force attacks can put the enemy in a state of immobility. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. The state is called break. While the enemy is in a broken state, the defense is lowered, allowing massive amounts of damage to be dealt. Yeah, I kind of figured that out already. You can see how close the enemy is to being broken by monitoring the target marker. Okay, that I did not know. <laughs> Excuse me, I Bit of a hiccup. Every enemy has a time when they are most or more vulnerable to breaks. Okay, by focusing break and force attacks during this time, you will be able to break the enemy easily. Targeting an enemy's element weakness or using break attacks in a chain combo will also make breaking easier. Alright, that's cool. Trishula is vulnerable to being broken while he is casting. Try to hit him with break or force attacks when he starts to cast. Okay. For the helpful advice, actually. Oh my god, I'm out of range. Oh, freaking. I gotta get these goals. Oh boy. Oh, sweet! Targeting! And Sonya still gets the final blow! So far, Sonya is my favorite character in this. Kirika is a very close second. I had imagined the original Diva Magica's power would be more impressive somehow. It appears I was wrong. It will be more than enough to strike you down. Really? A bold claim. Shall we test it? Sure, let's do another fight. That one was a little bit uh, easy. I can't move. Oh shit. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my lance. Oh crap! Kirika! Sorry, guys, I got like an itch in my eye. I think not. Ah, damn it. <laughs> What 
What's wrong? I'm waiting. Damn. I can't move. Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that. We already put down your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? <laughs> you know I knew we didn't! <laughs> What's so funny? You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. I have a feeling! Rise, my dragon. That is a badass lance. You power anew. When your lance is a flute! That is so cool! To life? We killed it? I thought we just knocked it out or something. <laughs> that resonance. Is that her harmonic? Now you see. Dragon and harmonic. Uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a dragoneer. I wonder if these words are going to be in the dictionary. Then... We'll just beat it down again. I mean, I don't mind. I see you are persistent. Just let me be else. a different person than freaking you. Forget one crucial detail. There are three spears under my command, and Trishula is but one. Oh damn! This thing is so bad. Whoa! Oh, that is so cool! I like the electric one. What? Go. Oh, these things are so rad. Ah! How you feeling now, Yuma? <laughs> Want to tell everyone how you're feeling? The effort. Or are you still gonna say you're doing all right? They were so intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Seriously, you're asking her if she's all right? Yes, Your Highness. The calm, cool, collective person over there. Oh yeah, she's totally in pain, guy. Taking me back. Oh my god. But I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. Wow, dude! Quiet. Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the girls? Yeah, dude. What do you mean? Your would-be rescuers are of no use to the Empire. There would be no point in subjecting them to the same trials. After you have been taken away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! Yeah! But what can I do? FIGHT! Need you ask? You know exactly what you can do. FIGHT! The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... THEN WHAT?! Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? Okay, that's a bit of a dick thing to say, man. It sounds like you feel the same, you huh? No, of course not. I can't just abandon them. Then fight! Did he just flash us? What is that? Damn! Yeah. 
Okay, that is so rad! Impossible. That boy's a dragon? It cannot be. That's... He has been awakened. But how? You... Yuma... Your radiance... Dude, that dragon is so sick. I got a sword for a horn, okay. bitches! All right. <laughs> My apologies, Your Radiance. <laughs> Sayonara! Damn, Yuma! Trishula, Gable, Gugnir, don't let that dragon escape. After it. If you command, but at great risk. How so? That was the shining dragon, our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. Damn. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. So, bi three big giant Finding dragons. Him. It's Got their ass dragon. handed to them by that little dragon. That's Ash Kaku. The world dragons. Then no, I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Still, I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? Dang, this episode went on quite some time, guys. I'm sorry. Did not expect it to be so awesome! And it's still going. Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island. A sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled. Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons. Using mystic rune songs to communicate with their mighty allies. I love the design of everything in this game. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain and sought to build a new world atop the old. High elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, war spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? Okay, so Yuma's dragon can get even bigger than what he looked like a moment ago, remained. if that's what I'm getting from this image. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland. The Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, 
until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Damn. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the elven kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory, their famed Dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body and granted those blessings unto mortals, was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the Shining Dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. Yeah, we're definitely going to save this. And we will continue next time. Oh, man, this game is so cool. Yeah, sorry this this uh, dragged on for quite some time. Oh man, I like I love this game right now. It's it's so awesome. But yeah, uh, we will continue this uh, next time. See y'all soon.